Welcome everyone back to Amari. Hold on, I'm gonna fix the camera. There we go. It's a little bit better. Maybe I don't. I don't know. It's a new day. Um, yesterday we did uh, the sweetheart battle, which took fucking forever. Pardon my language there. But today we're gonna go ahead and head up in here and do. I think we're just gonna like go up and. There was a spooky person, so we're going to go deal with the spooky person up at the top here. Hope everything's fine. Ooh, this is my first recording session, so you can kind of tell that it's it's chugging a little bit compared to, like, yesterday. Because I think everything is still coming up and trying to work and everything. And You know what? It's fine. Anywho, uh, there was a person here. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? I mean... Contrarily to the spooky, uh, spooky eyes. Yeah, let's jump. Let's jump. Let's see what happens. How spooky can it be? I remember it getting slightly spooky before we left. Oh, look, everyone's jumping. I thought it would just be me, but apparently it's everybody. This is lovely. Well, well. Apparently, I'm falling faster than everyone else. Hello. Oh, hello. Did I hit the ground and then I woke up in real life? Because that's how dreams usually work when you're, you're falling in a dream. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Vaguely. Oh, the library. We were looking for that. Hello. It is, it is just me. Can't tag anybody if there's nobody but me here. Oh. It's nice. There's, there's, that's fine. No, good. I've got a knife. I can deal with all these spiders. That doesn't matter. Oh, there's a book right here. Found a book of interest. Read an excerpt? Yeah, let's read. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach. After all, everyone was exhausted. Hmm, was the first to nod off, then the rest. I'm guessing Kel? As the sun set over the freeway, Blink's head accidentally drops on Blink's sh shoulder. Hero on Aubrey's, maybe? I don't know. The sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and a slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever okay so if I recall we had pictures taken of when we all went to the beach so maybe it was talking about that section maybe okay go away you dang spooters um I see another book over here let's see what this book says You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt? Yeah! A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above, it is none other than Blank, holding an open ju juice box. Probably Kel. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, he disappears. Blank disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. Uh, Blank's face turns red and yells for Blank. Uh, uh, Hero's face turns red and yells for Kel, but Kel's already long gone. Hero hands Hero some wet paper towels. I, I don't think that would be Hero then. It looks like they're only adults here. And if they don't clean up this soon, it, like they're the only adults. So the ca uh, carpet is going to stay and they'll have to deal with Blank later. Huh. So it's like the memories he's had of his friends. Possibly. Oh, there might be one over here, too. Yeah, there is. What's this one say? It was a hot summer day, and all could think all they could think about was they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Blank and Blank's hard work. All day, I watched 
somebody lug up planks up a wood back and for uh, blah, blah. all day i watched blank lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck he watched blank hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour had passed since blank had climbed over down her ladder i will just be their moral support i thought as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. He knows this and agrees, but reluctantly, he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be the hottest day of summer. Hmm. Um, hello? Spooky, spooky Mari. I saw you, Spooky Mari. Oh, hold on, there's another. You find a book of interest, read an excerpt. Yep, give me another story. This year, he was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to a small window. Every day during class, he would gaze list listlessly through the opening at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same day as any other. He stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slapped his back, snapping him out of his reverie. He looks away from the opening. He smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. His stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure for another day. So it's talking about how our main protagonist, I'm just going to call him Sonny, because that's his name for now, Sonny has these dream worlds that he goes to i'm assuming the three spaced person is named kel because that could be kel's name and then instead of saying he for the one spaced, it would be i because he's technically talking about himself i don't know the six spaced one's probably aubrey four could be hero but it looks like there's another person besides you. mari mari and hero because there's mari okay we're, we're getting somewhere Hold on. We're not getting anywhere with these dang spooters. You find a book of interest, read an excerpt. Yeah. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Uh, Hero jumps first, then Kel, then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge our protagonist, Sonny, to join them. And after some careful thought, Sonny warily agrees. Sonny shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heart beat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. That's our main character. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and then his eyes fly open to meet that those of a black spider. In an instant... Uh, Sonny loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak and helpless, or that is what he believes. He shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. It's not good. Can I be going to the right? Is there like an opening over here? Okay, there's not. Good. Just making sure. Spooters. Spooters, stop it. Although we are towards the, the end here. Probably not the best thing. You find a book of interest, read an excerpt. Yep. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Sunny looks at the clock. 8 a.m., two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. He grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll only he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Something opened. I don't know what something is. Do I need to go back or do I need to... Oh, oh, oh god, there's an L. Uh, hold on. 
realistically, could L be something? L M N. Hold on, L's up here. Yeah. I'm guessing L is one of them because it's. I'm guessing that third word is black. So let's grab an L real quick and. <laughs> You know, like we usually do. Come on, tell me some amount of keys remain. Yeah, that means it has to be black, right? Which means I should probably find the C. Could that be welcome? W-E-L-C-O-M-E Two T-O Black B-L-A-C-K Something. Welcome to the Black Parade. Welcome to Black... It has to be like... I'm gonna assume it's Welcome to Black something. We need to find these, this C at some point. Part of this shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Let's look into the hole, everybody. Hope for nothing spooky. What's in the hole? What's in the hole? Oh, oh. Some animation is in the hole. <gasps> Basil! What's up, my boy? I'm sorry I left you. Hi, Basil. Oh, bye, Basil. You had something in your eye there, Basil. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Guys, there's a key in the toy box. Don't forget. We need to find a key in a toy box. Oh, no. Now we're back here. I don't want to be back here. I already know what it's going to make. Yeah, I already know what it's going to make me do. See, I already... Yeah, it's got to be welcome to black something. I want to go. I want to go do more things. Yeah, let's look at the light bulb. Anything new about this light bulb? It's a bit more fiery than usual. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and get out of our dream world real quick. Hate that. Hate that noise. So next time we go, we're going to explore that place. Two days left. I get it. We're on a time crunch. I've almost solved Hangman. I mean, I need to find some more letters, but I've almost solved it. I need to find that C real bad, though. Sup, Sonny? Long time no see. It's sunny outside right now. Hello, I'll be there in a second. I gotta listen to something. You have a new message. I'm listening to a message. Hey, Sunny, it's Mom. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't even think I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Kel? If not, it's all right, I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, you can check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep. We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mom loves you. Bye. So I will say, I am having to choose between doing chores and... Uh, I'm gonna I'm be there in a second. Hold on, doing chores and I, not. I don't want to go there. I wanted to go to the closet. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing in the kitchen besides a bunch of dirty dishes. Probably should clean them. Can I clean them? Dirty dishes. Nope. Okay, I am coming. Kel, it's probably you. Or Tiro, one of the two. Yep, it's Kel. Hello? Hello? Sonny, are you there? Yep. 
What would you like to do? We're going to open that door. Open the door to the outside world. Oh, there's a cat on my roof. Hi, Sonny. Top of the morning to you. Well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Fairway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funnier if funner if we went together. Did you want to come along? Of course you do. Come on. Let me answer for myself, Cal. Let's go. Cool. I'm going to save real quick. A lot of things has happened. smells what the heck what happened here dang it it must have been aubrey and the scooter gang <laughs> that gosh darn scooter gang sonny be honest do i smell no you don't smell be quiet it just rhymes they're just going for rhyming alliteration that's all it is hmm I think I actually needed to go up first. Yeah, I think I needed to go up first. Let's go up first. Should be up and then right. Because you go to like the, the park and then go to the right. If I remember correctly. Crossing the street. We got a flipping burger. It's good for you flipping burgers that high. I could never do that. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery in other mart. Lead the way, Sonny. How much money I got? I got no money. Hi, who are you? Very lastly, this was like the time we, yeah, and then honestly, I think that, yeah, definitely. Okay, you're, you're very oh, homeless person. Guitar guy, yo, I'm Michael, a soon to be traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the town plaza for years, but now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. How much do you want to donate? I I have nothing, I'm sorry. They have no money to give. Oh, goodness, look who it is. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. This is the one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So, oh, this is Angel. Mmm, mmm, no, 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 no. We're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole. So it's probably a lake. I made it myself. Out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it will work? You gotta have bait. Probably not, but you gotta have bait. Hmm, so we're going to our secret hangout spot. That's a perfect date spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Well, while you're fooling around being babies, I'm going to be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect rocks all week. Mm -hmm. You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to go to the lake with you without you paying them. I told you to call me the map. I bit my tongue. <laughs> mm, master, are you hurt? Yeah, but for the skip. You'll pay for this. Ah. Okie dokie, what did I need to do? Hello and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm picking up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? No, no, no. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. I wonder if hero was named after the hero sandwich. Oh, I see. Here's a family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. Pretty weird. But it's, it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm, yeah, you're right, I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. Knew it, named after the sandwich. You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something, but eh, no, he just really likes sandwiches. Okay, here's your Hero sandwich. Please enjoy. You got Kel's pizza order. Okay, cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now. I'm ready when you are. 
Now we just need to get cookies from the bakery in the other one. We can do that. So let's go get some cookies. Hello, I'm here to find cookies. Let's go to the bakery. My mom placed an order there. Yes. But where is the bakery? I'm gonna look around. This is produce. Left is farmer's market. Right is candy shop. Looking for a bakery. Oh, look, bakery. There we go. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. Hmm. Ah, yes, your mother said you'd be coming, though I expected you'd be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. I'm sorry. He was coming to pick up his best friend, me. Did you know this bakery belongs to Mikhail's family? I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. He wants to be the protagonist. Here's your order, sir. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. You got Kel's bakery order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Now we're just gonna follow, we're gonna follow along the path. There is no, well, I hit, I hit a button. Hello? Hello? Hold on, I'm gonna, oh, there we go. I was so confused what that was. Hold on, let me get, let me click back on to here. So I hit the L button, but it, I guess it took a long time for it to load in. Done spooked me. Where we gotta go now? Baked goods. Check. Sandwiches. Check. Well, that's everything. Just in time, too. It looks like the sun's about to set. Let's go back to my house. Heroes should be coming every time. Yeah, let's go meet Hero. Just kidding. We're gonna meet him next time. Goodbye, everybody.